Measure the entire closet as accurately as you can. Measure the height, width, and depth. You will want to build the tower first. Take the cam locks and push them into each of the bottom shelves. Screw the cam posts into the corner holes on each of the top shelves. The top shelves have six small holes and are larger than the other shelves. Next, get the side panels. Align the panels into two sets with unfinished edges facing each other and push two cam locks into the top of each of the four panels. Screw the cam posts into the eighth hole from the bottom on each side panel. Using a rubber mallet, gently tap the bottom nuts into the bottom of one set of your side panels. Then screw the leveling feet into the nuts. You may want to lay down a carpet to protect your floor from scratches during assembly. Slide the bottom shelf onto one side panel and tighten the cam locks. Turn the assembly onto its side and attach the second side panel. Be sure that all unfinished edges are facing upwards during this assembly. Then tighten the cam locks. Repeat for the second set of bottom shelf and side panels. Then attach the top panel to the base and top units. Take the top shelf and push the cam posts into the holes at the top of the side panels. Then tighten the cam locks. Attach the gussets to all of the corners on the unfinished side of the unit. It's important to make sure the unit is square and not angled. Use a hammer and nails to secure the gussets. Be sure the nails go in straight and are not at an angle. Now attach the base of the unit to the wall. Adjust the feet to ensure the unit is level before screwing it into the wall. Place one of the L brackets inside the unit below the top gusset. Drill the hole, then insert your wall anchor and secure the L bracket. Drill a small pilot hole and secure the L bracket to the side panel with a small screw through the end hole. Do the same on the other side. Place the dowels into the center holes along the top edge of the base unit. Next, attach the top unit to the base unit and to the wall. You may need a friend to help you lift the top unit into place. Align the dowels with the holes on the bottom of the top unit to stack. Now attach this top unit to the wall by installing the L brackets just like you did on the base unit. Push the shelf supports into the holes at the desired locations for your shelves. Place the adjustable shelves onto the shelf supports. Push the covers into the open holes at the bottom of each unit. Now, install the rod brackets and rods. Before doing this, you will need to decide which side you would like to have double hang and which side is for your long hanging clothes. Place the rod bracket under the top shelf 1 8 of an inch back from the front edge. Measure and mark the hole locations on the unit. Drill small pilot holes if necessary. Secure each rod bracket with two rod bracket screws. Hook the closet rod onto the bracket. Extend the rod to the wall and hold another bracket in place. Make sure the rod is level and the same distance from the back wall as the bracket on the tower and mark the hole locations on the wall. Repeat for all brackets. Drill one quarter inch holes at marked locations. Insert a wall anchor and secure brackets with wall screws. Install the closet rods into the brackets. For smaller closets, the hang rods may need to be cut. Measure the length and cut the rods on the end without the hole. Now you have a closet that will help you stay organized.